hello YouTube today I will show you how to share the internet connection that's connected to a PC running Windows 7 with the another computers it may be your friend computer or maybe another computer in your home just I will show you how to create your home home network with internet access okay there are very simple steps simple four steps I'm gonna list all the four steps and I'll demonstrate them let's go through the steps the first step is IP setting of the Wi-Fi adapter in this step we're gonna do the IP setting of the Wi-Fi adapters nowadays most of the laptops come with the Wi-Fi adapters if you don't have in the desktop you can buy the network card with Wi-Fi that's Wi-Fi network card and you can install it and you can use the Wi-Fi we have to do the IP setting for this Wi-Fi adapters which gonna connect the multiple computers that's with the computer that's running Windows 7 with another computers we're gonna connect it through the Wi-Fi the main internet will be connected to the system that's running Windows 7 then rest of the computers will be connected to that computer through the Wi-Fi adapters this is the steps in which we're gonna do the IP setting for that computers that's Wi-Fi wi adapter of the computer that's running main internet okay the next enabling internet sharing to the Wi-Fi adapter in the main internet adapters the main internet adapter is the thing that's it may be the broadband or it may be the landline connections or dial-up connection or the portable USB pen drive sorry USB uh, internet connection it will be uh, that we have to enable the internet sharing in that adapter to the Wi-Fi adapters that's we are going to connect the multiple computers through this Wi-Fi we have to enable the internet connection sharing to this Wi-Fi adapters so in this step we are going to that do that and the next steps we are going to setting up the ad hoc networks this is a computer to computer networks that's Wi-Fi network in this we are going to set up the network through which we will connect the another computer okay the fourth step is placing the network in the right place that's whether it's a public network or it may be a private network. it's a very important step that the computer that running main computer the main internet will be the public and the rest of the computers which gonna connect to that computer will be private that network will be in the private you have to place that network in the private it should be public if you do it private and public then it's again problems you won't get connected let's make sure that you are going to connect connect them in a such a way that you are placing them in the right place that's the computer running the main internet will be in the that's we call it as let's just call it as computer A that server should be in the public network place and the rest of the computers will be, should accept the network as a private network okay let's start with the first steps that IP setting of the Wi-Fi adapters just make sure that you're gonna switch on the Wi-Fi adapter that's now I switch on the my Wi-Fi adapter okay that's right click it's hits here that's open network and sharing center let's click on it you will get it on the control panel also or you just type it network and sharing center here he, right here we have this okay let's we do the IP setting for this Wi-Fi adapters here is option change the adapter settings we get all the adapters that we have in our computers now in my laptop I have three adapters that's local area connections and the Wi-Fi network connection and the ZTE that's to which I gonna connect it Com internet okay we are we have to do the inter IP setting for this Wi-Fi network connections let's right click on it that's right here we have the properties click on the properties okay yeah the property window came up okay right here we have the internet protocol version 4 we have to use the internet protocol version 4 that's 32 bit IP address in the internet version 6 we gonna use the 128 bit address it's higher versions which we use it for okay let's click on the properties of the internet version 4 okay right here we have the properties this is the IP setting we are gonna do now just make sure that you gonna click on the obtain an IP address automatically is best and better way if you, you can give the IP address and you can set up all the things if you have good knowledge you can do that but still it's a better way to obtain IP address automatically the windows gonna do everything no, nothing headache nothing just click on the 
automatic okay we are done with the first step that's IP setting we are done okay let's go to the second step that's enabling the internet sharing of the Wi-Fi adapter in the main internet adapters okay we find that internet adapter there okay right click on that open network and sharing center adapter setting okay right here we have this SETI wireless terminals okay right click on it right here we have the properties same thing okay please observe that we have sharing right here sharing it may be the broadband or any dial up connections we get the adapter like this just right click on it properties then you go to the sharing window tab okay I have already enabled this which I will show you how to enable that so disable that first just close that sorry shit sharing disable that okay okay now I will show you how to enable it to the Wi-Fi wireless network what are the connections available I will show you right oh, okay see we have the two connections that local area connections or the wireless network connections now we are running through we are going to connect the another computer through wireless network connections we can also connect through the local area connections let's as we are going to connect multiple computers we have to use the wireless network connections okay let's click on the wireless network connections just click on this allow another networks okay now the setting all that get changed and it's saved for the wireless adapters don't nothing do nothing don't do anything with the Wi-Fi network adapter setting then just click right click okay just click on the okay okay we are done with the second steps that's enabling the internet sharing we have enabled the internet sharing for the Wi-Fi adapter now second step is setting up the ad hoc network we have to set up the ad hoc network now okay let's right click on that internet same thing same steps okay right here we have the setup a new internet connect connections or a network okay now we are going the ad hoc network okay click on that right here we have that's it's here network setup wireless ad hoc that's computer to computer network okay click on next next okay give a name let's give it internet okay I've done Make sure they're going to select VEP. VEP, okay. I selected then key the key. One, two, three, four. Let's, I will give it one, two, three. Okay, I'm done. Anything you can give, it's, it's a security code. If a, it will prompt for the password when you another computer tries to connect it to you, then you have to give the password, then only you're going to connect. Okay, if you want to save the, this network, and you want to use it again then click on save this network and just press next okay now it's setting up the internet network if you have any, any problem in this that's it you are uh, one thing you are not turned on your Wi-Fi adapter on the second thing you maybe have the problem with the Wi-Fi adapter okay just click on the OK close okay we're done with the third process that's setting up that arc networks okay now let's move on to the this placing a network in the right place okay see it's here we have waiting for a user disconnect here we have again if you want to connect it then right here we will get the options just click on connect just turn on the Wi-Fi adapter Just click on disconnect it will get connected automatically first you have to run the ZTE that's whatever the main internet connections then you turn on the Wi-Fi adapter then your friends can access this okay in the network and sharing center when you connect it you will get here that's the intern it will only prompt you to select the network place make sure that you're gonna select the server in the public and the rest of the computers that gonna connect to it will be in the private be make sure you should do it if not you won't get the Wi-Fi with internet access I'm repeating again that's first computer the server the main computer that running the internet connections will be in the public and the rest of the computers we can connect will be in the private okay thank you for watching video